All right, what up, guys? So today I'll be reviewing Super Dragon Ball Heroes Episode 3. We got another action-packed episode, so let's just get right into it. So in this episode, we got a reanimation of the previous episode's end. So like I said, in the previous review, we had Vegito going blue with the epic music, and all that was really hyped up and all. In this episode, it was a lot more quick, and we had different shots, and then that music was gone. So what that could mean is that we have different people writing and storyboarding each of these episodes. And at least here it was okay, but I did notice that. So next we see the urgency that Vegito has where he has to save Trunks again. So he immediately dashes into Cumber's um, move, which his move is really cool. It's a mix of like the SS Deadly Bomber and like the Death Ball. And so Vegito goes in it and he explodes it in Cumber's arm. And that uh, damages Cumber, makes him mad, and it also releases Trunks. And so this is really crazy. We have base form Cumber fighting Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, and Cumber's actually winning. And so the fight is really fast paced and all, and Cumber uses another new move. He uses his guided shadow move. And so it's a move that attacks Vegito and Vegito is dodging it, and then it would come back and hit him. And so really quickly we see that Vegito's getting overwhelmed and this is totally Cumber's fight. And so much so that Vegito needs to use Kaioken. Kaioken here was really really awesome, but again it only made the fight kind of even. Um, somehow Cumber was still slightly ahead, and the reason why I say that is that when they finally clash with the final Kamehameha and um, Cumber's new move, you could see that Cumber was just using anger to push the blast, while Vegito seemed to be using everything he had in his power. He was about to max out. So it's really crazy to even think about, but yeah, Cumber was winning this too. And from here we get teases of the chains of the prison planet breaking. I don't know what that means, and I'll tell you guys what I think that could mean later on, but for now, in terms of the episode, um, we're not actually sure, like we're not told what it is. And if you were paying attention, on Fuse Monitor, we could see an energy bar that was slowly going up as the fight would progress, and it seems to be the durability of the prison planet and the chains, like the, the barrier. And then next we get another major power up, we have Cumber going Golden Great Ape, which the weird thing about that is that you would think he could also go Super Saiyan, and if that's the case, with a 50 times multiplier, he could easily beat Vegito, so why did he go Golden Great Ape? So it is really cool and all, but it's not really necessary if he could go Super Saiyan. And so the only reason I would think he would go Uzaru is so they could give him Super Saiyan 4. That's really crazy if they do that, and considering how Heroes is, they might actually give it to him. Since, you know, we've seen in the past they've given Super Saiyan 4 to Broly. And so at this point on Fuse Monitor, that energy bar is maxing out. And for some reason, Few is not panicking about this. He's actually kind of celebrating, so it makes me think, is he gonna get the um, power? Why is he not panicking? Like, you would think that monitor would tell him, like, hey, things are getting crazy, um, everything's dangerous and whatever. But no, he's happy about this. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. And so back to the fight, Vegito defuses here, and so Goku and Vegito have no chance anymore. Even with Golden Cooler and Trunks at their side, they can't actually win this. Their only option is to really just retreat or cut Cumber's tail. But even then, they would have to fight Cumber again in his base, and even as Vegito Blue, they couldn't handle him. So, what's gonna happen? Um, that barrier's gonna have to crack, and that probably means that we're gonna see Zeno Goku again. Because this whole time, we have no idea where he is, and he could be bringing back people to help fight, or is gonna have to do something with Few. And so I'm really happy that the episode ended like that. Right now, we have no idea what Goku and Vegeta or anyone will actually do against Cumber. Uh, right now they basically have no chance at winning and they haven't teased anything, so yeah, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, I mean, is Goku gonna use Master Ultra Instinct? Um, at this point Vegeta could be forced to use Evolution, but they should really not be able to beat Cumber. So, you know, I'm really intrigued and the episode actually seems shorter than the other ones, but no, nah, in fact it was actually longer. I think it was just the, um, uh, the hype around it and all the battles and stuff made me, like, made the time go quick, basically. So I'm really happy about this. The music didn't stand out as much as in the uh, previous episodes. Um, but even still, the art style and the direction is actually really good still. And I'm only kind of nitpicking here, but it kind of sucks that we didn't get that uh, Berserker Trunks battle with Golden Cooler as I was hoping for. Um, you know, at the beginning of the episode, Cumber had him in his clutches, so I did want to see that battle. But again, they didn't give it to me. It's fine. Um, what they did give me was really entertaining. So, yeah. So again, what do you guys think Zeno Goku is up to? Um, are we going to see him anytime soon? What do you guys think about that? Um, and yeah, I guess that's basically all for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.